Last year, more than 500,000 people crossed the Darien Gap on the Panama-Colombia border that serves as a major passage for U.S.-bound migrants. The jungle route is a major issue for politicians in Central and South America, as well as the U.S., and for one Panamanian presidential frontrunner. The issue could be key to winning office. Panama's presidential frontrunner, Jose Raul Molino, has pledged to close the dangerous route, which is a hot spot for criminal activity. Molino, Panama's former security minister, telling reporters about the migration pressures faced by Panama. The border of the United States, instead of being in Texas, moved to Panama. We're going to close the Darien and we're going to repatriate all these people. Molino believes shutting it down could control migration and he promises to do it humanely. But there are serious challenges. The Colombian side of the Darien Gap is tightly controlled by the Gulf Clan drug cartel, while the Panamanian side is more chaotic and lawless and exposes migrants to robbery and assault at the hands of armed bandits. However, groups like Human Rights Watch argue that closing the gap is unrealistic, virtually impossible. The America's deputy director for Human Rights Watch says it could push migrants toward even more dangerous routes. Critics suggest Molino's tough stance might be intended to resonate with U.S. political narratives, with Molino saying that if Donald Trump returns to the White House, he would request his help to add some cement for building another wall between Panama and Colombia. Reuters reports Molino leads significantly in polls. He's one of eight candidates competing in the upcoming May 5th presidential election.